And new at five, one woman refused to become a victim when she was one of two women assaulted near Denver's Washington Park. Tonight, police saying this man snuck up on Ashley Brenner and put her in a chokehold. And Ashley talking exclusively with 7 News reporter Russell Hather. And Russell, she tells you how she got away. Yeah, and she is definitely a brave and strong woman, having escaped her attacker before he caused her even more harm. According to police reports, this suspect was trying to choke the women until they, quote, passed out, but both got away. Ashley Brenner was walking home after the Broncos game. She was almost there when she was attacked. It was literally right outside my front door. I heard footsteps. 18-year-old Kiana Jelks is now in jail. Police actually caught um, up to him. Threw his um, left arm over my neck and just had me in a um, headlock. And somehow I reached my arm around and just poked his eye. He released me. Um, I ran, pushed him down, and just ran to the middle of the street right here. It was the second of at least two similar attacks on Sunday night. In a matter of minutes, police responded and arrested this man near Spear and Pennsylvania. 7 News was there as it happened. Ashley was in the police car with her roommate and positively ID'd the man as her attacker. I knew he was wearing flannel. And I, like I, I, he had the dreads. Fortunately, there were also other witnesses in the busy neighborhood, including a man walking his dog. And he saw it all happening, but he saw, he thought we were just play fighting, I guess. Ashley believes it could have been much worse. I don't like thinking about her and you're saying it, but it was, um, I would believe, sexual assault. She says she'll never walk home alone again. I always tell myself I'll never do it and I will never do it again. And then. I have mace. I don't know if it would have been handy at the time, but it probably it would have been in my hand. The suspect, 18-year-old Kiana Jelks, is now in jail. Police caught up to him after those two attacks on women right here at the intersection of Pennsylvania and Spear. They say he was inside a silver Chevy Tahoe that did not belong to him, and he was trying to steal the stereo out of that Chevy Tahoe. He then briefly got away from police, zigzagged his way across the Cherry Creek, trying to get away from them, but they eventually caught him and arrested him. Live in Denver, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.